Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energy and today we bring you my review of the Transformers Thrilling 30 Voyager class Road Buster. <coughs> Road Buster. And here he is in his really cool, heavily armed and heavily armored uh, armored truck mode. And yeah, if you notice, I decided to uh, equip him all of his weapons in his truck mode, which makes him look incredibly fierce. Which he comes with a missile pod, this, uh, I don't know what this is, but I think this is a launcher, rocket launcher, machine gun, uh, pistol, I think, like plasma pistol or something. And this kind of looks like the plasma caster from the Predator. So yeah, these are all of the weapons that he, that Roadbuster here comes with. And let me just, uh, take them off. Oh, and I might as well show it off now. This, uh, missile is, uh, spring-loaded. Let's see, take that off. Excuse me. Excuse me again. And yeah, these are all of the accessories and weapons that comes with uh, this figure. So I'm going to put them off to the side and we'll see him again in um, his robot mode. So yeah, this is his armored truck mode when it's uh, without all of his weapons. And as you can see, there's a, there you can place each of the weapons in each of the ports to fill them out. So yeah, check it out. Nicely detailed, really nice. It's short, stocky, and rugged. I really like it. I think it's really cool. And thanks to its uh, big wheels, big old wheels, it can go off-roading. So yeah, it rolls very, very nicely and has a nice amount of detail. Also, I have to mention, these details here, all of these things here, those are all stickers, yeah. This transformer decided to come with a little a little sort of card of stickers that you have to put on him i am not entirely fond of stickers i actually would rather have the detail be painted on because over time the stickers fall off but these stickers so far have been pretty good however if you can see this there are bits that sort of like uh tend to pop off as time passes but yeah and, oh, and, it, and also to put them on, you can pretty much do whatever you want, but the instructions do come with places, uh, the places where to put the stickers. And I follow them to the letter with the exception of uh, this one. I decided to add it on because I wanted to show it off. This symbol, this is the wrecker symbol. As you can see, he has the Autobot symbol there, but then here also has the wrecker symbol. The idea was that, um, uh, I guess the original idea was that you have to decide which symbol to put on there but i decided to put the autobot one here and then have the wrecker one there because i really liked it and i wanted to have it on there so yeah and to also show it yeah roadbuster here is also part of the original generation one wreckers along with us uh, uh, uh springer with a uh, springer and yeah as a vehicle mode yeah this is a really nice neat cool little tough rugged uh off-road military whatever you want to call it like this is a very cool tough military-esque off-road armored truck and it's really cool so enough with the vehicle mode nothing else to really say let's get on with a uh, transformation so first we start off by taking this folding it out and i will say this this whole transformation because this entire thing these are the legs that is actually really neat how they how they did that with this entire piece was actually his feet then you come down here separate this Bring that up, bring that up, turn them forward, and then you take the wheels and fold them in. And then you have the legs. This transformation is actually pretty simple, but it's effective. Then you come up here, you turn, you turn, I guess not, you just pull this out, pull out, pull that out, turn this in, turn this in. The whole point of this is to cover the hands in his vehicle mode, because these are his uh, robot mode hands. So you take that, and then you, what you're supposed to do is take this whole thing out like that, this thing out like that, rotate, rotate, there we go, take that out, then extend, extend these out, then you come to this part, where you just bring this entire assembly down, move these around for clearance, and then this, this piece will tab into there. You have a nice soft click, but it's a very strong connection. And then for the awesome head review, and here is Roadbuster. This is Roadbuster in his 
Robot mode. And I actually really like this robot mode. This, this, this guy is really cool. The transformation was pretty clean, pretty nice. And this guy is just very, very rugged looking. And check out that head. I ain't gonna lie. If you didn't tell me that this was an Autobot, also, there is a little bit of a scratch on the paint there. And funny enough, he is supposed to have light piping. Oh, and I forgot to mention it as well. Springer also has light piping. But they kind of painted over the actual visor, so light doesn't really go through. So, begs the question, why did they even bother making a light piping if they want, if they painted the, the actual visor? But yeah, this is a very fearsome looking head. I'm not gonna lie, this almost this almost resembles this looks more like an uh, Decepticon than an Autobot. But yeah, this is a uh, Roadbuster. Very cool, very nice. I really like that he looks like a, a very tough, like war, uh, a very tough uh, fighter. And I and I really really like that. He's really he's really cool. And pretty much how he looks is also his personality. Since uh, Roadbuster, I believe, is the uh, uh, what does the description say about him? That he uh, he is happiest when he's on the battlefield, so he loves to fight. And I think one of his uh, major, one of his greatest fears is how he would react when the war is over. So it's like he he I don't he like one of his greatest fears is um. And then I'm just remembering this by memory. And then I'm just uh, this is just by memory what I'm saying because I remember looking it up and that it said that his greatest fear is what would he do after the war is over. Since all he knows and all he cares about is fighting, so he wouldn't know what to do. Which is very, which is very profound. But yeah, that's him. So yeah, the transformation itself was fairly simple, but pretty neat. I like how these little panels hide the actual hands in his uh, uh, robot, in his vehicle mode. And yeah, the wrecker symbol, I put it on the back of this shoulder. Ugh, sorry, got it. Kind of recovering from a bit of a cold, so ah. So yeah, that's him. Let's go on to articulation. You have ratchets there, nice ratchets there, ball joint at the head, ratchets there, and unfortunately, because of this sort of armor piece, he can't do a. He can only do an an okay kick because of this armor piece. But you can rotate there. Oh, I forgot. Ro you what? Really tight rotation there. He's got a double bend at the elbow. He has one here and then one here. I can rotate there. Can tight rotation there. And then, once again, because of the, uh, well, this time because of this wheel, if you move out of the way, he does have like a double knee. So you have that, but if you keep it there, he has just a pretty good knee. Knee bend there. And his foot can rotate and pivot. Up and down, rotation, and pivot, which is really nice. He has a lot of uh, foot articulation, and thanks to his big feet, he can stand quite well on his own. Well, he can stand really well. There we go. He's good at standing thanks to his, uh, thanks to his uh, big old feet. So now we get to probably the, the, the coolest thing, the, his, uh, the coolest aspect. Well, other than all of this, because I think as a figure by himself, is fantastic figure. Overall, solid, fantastic, great figure. Um... Let's see. In terms of repaint, I think he, I think this mold was reused and repainted into like two uh, like botcon exclusives. I think one was a botcon, and then the other was like a something else. I don't even know what it was called. But yeah, he did get a couple of this mold got a couple of uh, repaints into some like other characters. So yeah, that's a Roadbuster. So let's get on to the. Do what I say it's the coolest? No, because I actually like the figure by itself and think the figure is awesome. But then we get to the other cool thing about him, and it's all of these weapons. Yeah, he does have all of these weapons in which you can just attach them to all of his uh, all of the ports here. He just uh, holds this here, holds this here. So like his uh, vehicle mode, you can armor him up. Well, not armor, arm him up. Just like that. So he has all of his weapons out. And this looks pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is probably my favorite. Yeah, I'm just gonna... My favorite thing about this figure is all the accessories and, like, the combinations you can do with his weapons. And also, another cool thing, his weapons can actually combine together. Yeah. You can combine together the, the weapons. I'm gonna show you, like, one amalgamation. 
Then I'll show you like the way that I like to have them. Uh, I, I like to have them uh, displayed with uh, the combination weapons. So the one mega one I do is that you attach this onto there to have it be like a silencer or like a barrel extension. Let me put him in the back. Then you take the, darn it, stay still. Then you take this, slide this into the plasma caster looking thing, and then you have this one big thing. There we go. Then you take this, you take this, you pop it on top of here. You take, oh, where, where do I want to put this? I'll oh, put this over here. Over there. Then you take this and put this on the side. And then we have like one giant mega super cannon. Which I sometimes like to put on his shoulder. There you go. He's ready to blow some Deceptipunks away. Oh, you can hold it. Yeah, big gun. Everybody love big cannons. All right. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. And you can do a, a whole number of combinations with this. But um, let's see. What's the way that I like? How I like to display them? Nice. I like to take this, put this on top. Sorry, excuse me. Put this on top so it kind of looks like a scope. Darn, it's cold. Sorry about that. All right, so I have this missile pod. Put it there. And this is the combination I like to do. I have the one pistol. Put it there. So it looks like he's got a scope. Then this here. Yeah, you put this one here. And he holds this uh, machine gun. This is how I like to have them displayed. There's nothing too special. Like, the only difference from the ones of having all of his weapons out is just I put this on his. So, it would be like a scope. So, it would be like a, a pistol. Yeah, this is how I like to uh, display them. Whoops. And be very careful with the missile. It's on a hair trigger. Ah. Wait, so. Darn it. Darn that hair trigger. So, I'm just... Put that on there. Hold on. Yeah, okay. So yeah, overall, and I've already said this, it's an awesome figure. It comes with a bunch of weapons, with a bunch of cool accessories, which are his weapons, which can be mix and match and combined together to form any number of combinations. But I like to have it, he, like, have it like this. Let me just... Well. So yeah, this is a really cool, solid figure, and I highly recommend it. So yeah. I think I already mentioned before, Roadbuster here was also one of the original, uh, was part of the original G uh, G1 records along with Springer. So yeah, just overall fantastic solid figure. Cool truck mode, awesome accessories, cool robot mode, and nice and a, and a nice transformation. Not too complicated, but not too simple either. Just a straightforward transformation. So yeah. Really solid and excellent figure. Highly recommend Roadbuster here. So yeah, this has been my review of the Transformers Thrilling 30 Voyager Class Roadbuster. This is composite and this is composite Energo signing off. Peace out.